What's up, YouTube? <coughs> Today we are looking at the Pounder. It's a steel Pounder by <coughs> Tactical. Um, I've had a uh, the I've had a couple things from him on the channel. Um, this one, obviously, we got one pound. Well, it doesn't weigh a pound. Didn't think that would be the case. This is the Mel Spec two pounder. Okay, I'm gonna weigh it one more time and we'll be moving along. Okay, so there you go. Um, I don't really care if it weighs a pound, but it fits really well in the hand. I feel like it actually matters. It's kind of one of uh, one of the grips where you could. I mean, you don't necessarily. You could press up like this, or you could almost curl your fingers around this lip, like. But then the, you know, there's a plate, like it was braceless, and have a grip. Then you would just rock it into your palm. Let's uh, let's take more measurements and see what exactly is going on. I have my little thing. All right, here we are. Huh, kind of thrown off by the weight thing, but anyway. It also could have just been like a euphemism for what these are. Um, but actually, I think that I'll carry these. Um, I, I've not, I like that it's steel. I don't think it'll tarnish as much. Um, I might uh, get some, you know, gun bluing and blue it, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, these are pretty chill and compared, and I'll, we'll do another video, I'll do another video with uh, comparing them to the others, but um, the other one by this guy, it's really, all, it's like, you know, skeleton frame, there's no um, plate, and it has like these cones, which is badass. But I feel like this is, because I mean, if I were to show these to somebody, like say in a setting where we're not just like on the block, I feel like this could, because these look pretty, I don't want to say sterile, but while fitting in the hand very well, they, uh, they just don't look totally insane, I think is what I'm trying to get at. Um, or some of the knuckles I have, I don't know if, you know. This fits well in the hand. I, I like, this has really grown on me, the, um, the way that he has the, not like he invented it, but you know, when the, the lesser fingers like have some kind of weird finger banging ability. So they put on <laughs> the same 
the same stall, the same finger stall. Um, yeah, I don't know if that helps me or not. I don't really know. But yeah, I mean, obviously, although these may not weigh actually a pound, <laughs> I think that they're going to carry well. And I do think that if I had to use them, I think that they would, you know, do what they're supposed to do. Like, I will say I carry my gun a little bit less now that I have uh, purchased, you know, a couple brass knuckles just because, well, I also like, I don't know. This doesn't seem like I need it. If I have like this or a big um, knife or something like that, there's just no way I'm ever gonna carry this. But it is kind of neat. Oh. They, uh... In here, you can kind of see... It almost looks like where the milling has happened, some, there are points of perlage, kind of. You can kind of see them coming up. Anyway, I like the patina on it as well. These are asymmetrical, obviously, so it makes them a little bit tougher to grab. I mean, you can grab these incorrectly. I don't even know if I could use them like this. Yeah, that's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you folks have a good rest of your day. Bye now.